Welcome to Wonder of Learning Science Connections. Today we are going to learn about something incredible, dust storms. Dust storms, what are they? A dust storm is a big windy cloud of dust that travels through the air. Another name for dust storms are haboos. Hab is an Arabic word which means to blow. How do dust storms form? These ingredients are needed for a dust storm. Dry soil and sand, strong winds, an area with loose tiny particles like dust or sand mixed with the thunderstorm that has updrafts and downdrafts. These downdrafts push the wind toward the land and push up the loose dust particles and disturb all the sand and dust. These outflow winds can push as far as 100 miles away from the thunderstorms and that gust frump is what propels the sand and creates a dust storm or a havu. Dust from big dust storms can travel around the world. It can even reach places far, far away from where the storm started. Where do dust storms happen? Dust storms can occur in many places around the world, but they're most common in dry and dusty areas like deserts, examples the Sahara Desert in Africa, the Gobi Desert in Asia, and the Mojave Desert in North America. You can see by the markers on the world map where dust storms can occur around the world. Look at this satellite image of a dust storm that was detected on NOAA weather radar from a large dust storm that spread across parts of New Mexico and Texas in 2018. This dust storm spread out over several hundred miles. The dust storm dance. Imagine a big dusty dance party. The wind twirls and swirls carrying dust with it. This swirling dance creates a cloud of dust that can be as tall as a skyscraper. What happens during a dust storm? Look and listen to this video of what a dust storm looked like at the Burning Man Festival. Dust storms can make the sky look dark and hazy like a giant cloud of dust covering everything. Sometimes people and animals are not able to get inside during a dust storm. It can be hard to see and breathe during a dust storm, so people often stay inside to stay safe. So if you have to be outside, make sure to cover your face, including your eyes, nose, mouth, and ears while outside. If you have animals outside, try to get them into a barn or shelter if possible. If not, animals usually can take care of themselves and will try to get to shelter. If you are driving during a dust storm, you will have reduced visibility or no visibility at times. It is best to pull off the road as far as you can safely pull off. Do not burn your headlights as people might think that you're on the highway and this could lead to traffic accidents. If you are shopping or in town and can't make it home during a dust storm, you could go inside a business, a restaurant, or shopping center and ride out the storm. If you are at home when a dust storm hits, stay inside your home. Make sure to shut all doors and windows and put towels or rugs to keep sand from entering your home. Dust storms can be powerful and sometimes even a little bit scary, but don't worry, you can be prepared. What can we do to stay safe? Make sure to have flashlights, lanterns, and plenty of batteries in case the power goes out. Make sure to have plenty of bottled water on hand and snacks if needed, because you could be there for a while. 
If you live in an area that is prone to dust storms and you have allergies, asthma, or breathing problems, make sure to keep your medications on hand and available in case you need them. It's also a good idea to use an air purifier during sandstorms as it'll make the air quality inside your home better. It's always a good idea to make sure you tune in to the local news, weather, TV, or radio stations to stay aware of the storm's location and its duration. If you must go outside during the storm, make sure you wear protective head, face, and eye protection to help keep you safe. In conclusion, dust storms are amazing natural events that teach us about the power of nature. Remember to stay safe and explore the world with wonder and curiosity. Thank you for learning with us today. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel and share us with your friends. We hope you'll join us again soon for another lesson on wonder of learning. Until then, bye-bye.